everyone. This is Shauna and Pete with Valley Family Discipleship, and today we are on 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 through 13. Um, it's uh, several scriptures, so we are going to just give a synopsis. Actually, kind of to summarize it, it's almost as though the Apostle Paul is saying, okay, Corinthians, which they were wealthy and they um, had nice things, it's almost like they're preaching a prosperity gospel, as though they think that they have arrived um, to their goal because they have things. But yet, here was the Apostle Paul who was being thrown in prison, who was hungry, who uh, didn't have very many earthly treasures, um, but yet he had such great anointing and a such great power with God. The, the thing that you see about it is, you know, that there's a common thing is there's a price of success. Mm -hmm. uh, if you listen to sports or watch sports, you see athletes and you watch the behind the scenes stories and you see they spent hours in the gym. Uh, they neglected to go to their high school prom or these different things so that they could go and, and work out or they go and spend their summers uh, away from home at camps, training, and all these different things. There's a price for that success. Uh, businessmen, uh, you see that they, uh, they sacrifice time with what? Their family, uh, vacations, they work hard uh, and give up their time and their effort and everything towards being successful and ultimately gaining money. There's a price to that success. And Paul's telling them, hey, when you become a disciple of Jesus Christ, there's a price you have to pay. It's not necessarily that everything is going to be handed over to you because they got the opinion of because we have, we're highly favored of God. Mm -hmm. God loves us more because we have more Material than Material things, right. right, yeah. And the Apostle Paul kind of had to remind them and, and, and give them a little slap in the face and say, hey, look, us apostles aren't living that way. Mm -hmm. The leaders of the church are not don't have those blessings in us. Shauna mentioned earlier, he even said that they, they were hungry. Mm -hmm. They had old clothes. Yep. He mentioned that they were beaten. They worked uh, hard with their own hands. They weren't served. They were imprisoned. Yep. Uh, they were homeless a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the even scripture at the end even says that they were uh, looked at as the garbage or trash of the world. They were slandered and cursed. Right, and that, that was verse 13. It says right up to the very moment, it says, it's like they're the scum of the earth. Yeah. It's how they were viewed by people around them. And so the Corinthian church kind of had a chip on their shoulder. They were kind of like the spiritual elite, they thought. There were things that uh, were getting in their way, and they were getting puffed up. And he mentions that several times in First Corinthians. But they were getting puffed up, and he wanted to make sure that they understood that, that their was a price to pay for the kingdom of God, to be able to go out and give the gospel and give it wholeheartedly, there was a price to pay. And Jesus taught the same thing. He said, you know, if they're going to do this to your master, to me, think about how they're going to treat you. And the reason Jesus mentioned that to his disciples is that once you become a Christian, we're enemies with this world. We're separated from it. We're different. Right. And the world doesn't like the At fact that we we're different. Be. One of the things that the enemy doesn't like is for you to shine light upon their, their evil deeds. Mm -hmm. And individuals don't like being called out. Individuals don't like being told that they're they're necessarily wrong or being even being sharing the gospel in a way of uh, a way uh, the way of salvation is offensive to them. Mm -hmm. So Christians, there there is a uh, I guess a target on you in some way. And Paul was letting them know that look, our lives are not hunky dory. It's not sunshine and lollipops over here preaching the gospel message because everywhere we go, people hate us mm -hmm. and we're being persecuted and we're being tormented. Uh, but we're doing it for the name of Jesus Christ. Right. right. Don't think that uh, receiving earthly rewards means that, oh, you've got it. You've arrived. You, you don't have right. to do anything else. You can and if you it. are receiving earthly rewards from God right now, that's great. Right. I mean, that, but that doesn't put anyone who isn't lesser than you in God's kingdom. That's right. Because that's what was going on. They think, oh, I've got this. God's blessing me. I've got the new house. I've got the new car. Uh, the two and a half kids and everything is going great. Big bank account. Uh, that person over there is struggling. They must not be doing what God wants them to do. Yeah. And Paul was kind of like, oh, that's not the way it works. Yeah. That's not the way God's kingdom works. Okay. If you're one of those people getting their blessings right now, thank God for it. Praise him. Use it to touch others. Right. And and make sure that you continue to uh, run after God. Chase after who mm -hmm. he wants you to be and what his uh, kingdom purpose is for your life. So closing, just remember, uh, read the scripture every day. Yep. We want you to encounter God every day, exalt God every day, edify yourself, and engage this world for Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Remember to read today's blog and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Until next time, God bless you.